Hi, Old Adder here again. Thank you for joining me on my channel. This is my grasshopper engine, uh, designed and um, built using my Flashboard 3D printer. This project was given to me as a challenge by the guys at Bolton Steam Museum. They thought it would be good for me to have a go at the grasshopper engine. So this is uh, what I've produced. Um, enjoy. I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go through. This is the uh, design of the engine using um, Design Spark Mechanical. Um, this is the assembly drawing um, which shows everything in 3D and able to move it so you can see how that came together before being built. You see here the cylinder being built. This is actually the same design cylinder I used for the large uh, beam engine that I produced. So I thought I'd share it again on here so you can have a look. For the flywheel on this model, I've actually put some metal inserts into the outer rim. Uh, to give it extra weight, which really does make the model run quite smoothly. Uh, I'll show you a diagram um, that you'll see with the holes um, provided in the rim, which you need to pause your 3D print in order to put the inserts in. I've used 10 millimeter rod, 12 millimeters long. Uh, there are 36 of them um, and it works quite well. This is the slicing program um, to show the flywheel um, and the holes that I've provided for the 10 millimeter metal inserts. Um, they are 12 millimeters deep and I instigated the um, pause just before putting the top layer on at that point there. Um, so I've put all of the inserts in and then continue the program to finish off the uh, flywheel um, to its finished situation. Dot shows you the um, steam chest with the cover plate removed just to show you the uh, valve mechanism as it works up and down. I have used uh, on this particular model uh, gaskets uh, in order to create a better seal um, between the cover plate and the uh, steam chest on this occasion. Seemed to help, to be honest. The eccentric um, is actually printed as one piece on the uh, 3D printer. Um, you do have to wiggle it a bit in order to loosen it up. But as you can see, it actually has a nice bit of play in it. I put some lube in there, um, some silicon lube, which really helps that to, to loosen up before on final assembly. You'll see in this model that I've tried to be a bit authentic and clad the cylinder in wood like the old ones were, in order to give an extra insulation. Um, in this case, I've used matchsticks, um, long matchsticks, cut them to size, glued them to the outside of the cylinder, um, and then just give them a bit of varnish just to uh, give it a bit of a finish. Made the clamps um, with a few um, three millimeter screws. Um, seems to do the job. I've used the underside of the model uh, to hide some of the tubing for the air supply uh, at this end is where it goes actually into the cylinder and it runs back through here to the controller unit as you'll see on this particular side the controller unit um, and runs out the end into uh, an adapter which takes a, a standard uh, six millimeter OD tube which uh, feeds to the compressed air supply.